In this video, I'm going to show you the best monitor for Mac you can get at every price range. No matter your budget, I will help you find the best pick for your needs. Let's go. First, we are going to take a look at the best options in the under $300 range. First, we have the Dell S 2721QS. What I really like about this one is the super crisp 27-inch 4K IPS display that looks fantastic with Mac OS and its stand is amazing, letting me adjust the height, tilt, pivot, and swivel for perfect ergonomics. The colors are decent with 99% sRGB coverage, and the built-in speakers are handy, but the biggest downside for a Mac user is the lack of USB-C, so you're stuck using a dongle to connect your MacBook. It's a solid all-around choice with a great stand, but compared to the other two, its colors are the most basic and the HDR is barely noticeable. Next we have the HP U32 4K HDR monitor. This thing is an absolute dream for a single cable setup, as its USB-C port not only handles the 4K video, but also delivers 65 watts of power to charge my MacBook. The massive 31.5 inch screen offers so much space to work with, and it's impressive 98% DCI-P3 color coverage and Visa Display HDR 400 make videos and photos look way more vibrant than on the Dell. My only real issues are that the bigger screen makes the 4K resolution look slightly less sharp than on a 27 inch panel, and the stand, while height adjustable, doesn't offer the full range of motion like the Dells. Finally, we have the LG 27 UP 600W. This monitor is all about the picture quality, giving you a beautiful 27 inch 4K display with fantastic colors that cover 95% of the DCI-P3 space, making it a huge step up from the Dell for any creative work. The huge letdown here is the stand. It's wobbly and only offers tilt adjustment, so you'll almost certainly need a Visa arm or a stack of books to get it at eye level. Ultimately, you're getting a panel with color performance that rivals the HP in a sharper 27 inch size, but you have to sacrifice the amazing stand from the Dell and the game changing USB C port from the HP. Next, we are going to take a look at the best options in the $300 to $500 range. First, we have the Dell S 2722 QC. This is your fantastic entry level 4K monitor for a Mac, providing a sharp picture and the convenience of a single USB C cable for video and power, which really cleans up your desk. The downside is that its 65 watts of power delivery can be a bit slow to charge a MacBook Pro under heavy use, and its color is limited to the sRGB space, making it less vibrant than the other two options. For general productivity, web browsing, and media consumption on a Mac, it's an incredible value that gets you into the 4K game without breaking the bank. Next, we have the ASUS Pro Art PA 279 CRV. For any Mac user doing creative work, this monitor is an absolute powerhouse for the price, boasting incredible color accuracy with 99% DCI-P3 coverage, and a very generous 96 watts of power delivery that will keep even the most demanding MacBook Pro fully charged. It dramatically outperforms the Dell S 2722 QC in color reproduction, making your photos and videos look exactly as they should, and its design is slim and modern. While it's also a 60 hertz panel, its combination of professional grade factory calibrated color and high power output makes it the clear winner for Mac-based photographers, designers, and video editors in this price range. Finally, we have the Dell UltraSharp U 2723 QE. This monitor is the king of connectivity and productivity, featuring unique IPS black panel technology that delivers noticeably deeper blacks and superior contrast compared to both the ASUS and the other Dell. It transforms into a complete docking station for your Mac with a single USB-C cable that provides 90 watts of power, but it also adds an Ethernet port and a KVM switch to easily control multiple computers. While its color gamut is a step behind the ASUS ProArt, its exceptional contrast makes text incredibly crisp, and its hub features are unmatched, making it the perfect choice for a Mac user in a busy home office who values performance and convenience above all else. Next, we are going to take a look at the best options in the $500 to $1,000 range. First, we have the Samsung Viewfinity S9, and let me tell you, its 27-inch 5K screen is a dream for Mac OS, delivering that razor-sharp retina look we all love, and it connects with a single Thunderbolt 4 cable that powers my MacBook with 90 watts. The color is fantastic thanks to the matte display with 99% DCI-P3 coverage, but honestly having to deal with the slow built-in smart TV software just to use it as a monitor can be a real pain. 
It's the closest you'll get to an Apple Studio display for less money and even includes a webcam, though the plastic build doesn't feel quite as premium as the other two options here. Next, we have the BenQ PD 3220U, a 32-inch 4K monitor that is clearly built with Mac users in mind, featuring a special M-Book color mode to perfectly match my MacBook screen and a handy hotkey puck for swapping settings on the fly. I love the dual Thunderbolt 3 ports and the built-in KVM switch for my work setup, although the overall brightness is just okay, and the 60Hz refresh rate is pretty standard. While it doesn't have the 5K resolution of the Samsung, its focus on color accuracy and productivity tools makes it a serious contender for any creative professional who values workflow over raw pixel count. Finally, we have the Dell UltraSharp U3223 QE, and what stands out immediately on this 32-inch 4K display is the IPS black technology, which gives you incredibly deep blacks and a contrast that really makes both the BenQ and Samsung panels look a bit washed out in comparison. This thing is a connectivity king with a massive USB-C hub providing 90 watts of power and even a built-in KVM. But the design is very much a gets the job done corporate look. It might lack the Mac specific color modes of the BenQ or the 5K sharpness of the Samsung, but if you want the best all around performer with superior contrast and the most ports for your Mac setup, this is arguably the one to beat. Next, we are going to take a look at the best options in the $1,000 to $2,000 range. First, we have the Apple Studio display. It offers an incredibly sharp 27-inch 5K retina screen that integrates perfectly with macOS, making everything from the excellent built-in webcam and speakers to the brightness controls feel like a natural extension of your Mac. The color accuracy and 600 nits of brightness are fantastic for creative work, but you're locked to a 60 Hz refresh rate, which feels noticeably less smooth than the other high refresh rate monitors in this category. Be warned that the standard stand isn't height adjustable, a feature that costs a lot extra, and with only Thunderbolt and USB-C ports, it's not very flexible if you want to connect other devices like a gaming console. Next, we have the Dell UltraSharp U4025 QW. This thing is an absolute beast with a 40-inch curved ultra-wide display, giving you 5K2K resolution and a super smooth 120Hz refresh rate, offering a massive canvas for productivity that the studio display just can't match. It's a connectivity champion with Thunderbolt 4 that delivers a huge 140 watts of charging power, and its new IPS black panel technology provides way better contrast and deeper blacks than the LG or even Apple's display. However, while the resolution is high, the pixel density is lower than the Apple display, so text isn't quite as razor sharp, and its huge physical size means you'll need a very large desk to accommodate it. Finally, we have the LG 38WN95CW. This 38-inch curved monitor feels like the sweet spot for mixed use, as its 144Hz refresh rate makes scrolling and moving windows on my Mac feel incredibly fluid and responsive. Plus, its nano IPS panel is gorgeous and color accurate. It has a great single cable Thunderbolt 3 setup that provides plenty of power for a MacBook, but its 3840 by 1600 resolution is a, a clear step down in sharp when you put it side by side with the Dell and especially the Apple monitor. You're essentially trading that pristine retina quality text for ultimate smoothness and you shouldn't expect much from its weak built-in speakers, which are a massive downgrade from the studio display's amazing sound system. Next, you're going to take a look at the best options in the $2,000 plus range. First, we have the Apple Pro Display XDR. The integration with Mac OS is just flawless giving you this incredible 6K resolution that makes everything unbelievably sharp, and it all runs off a single Thunderbolt 3 cable that even powers your MacBook. While the 1600 nits of peak brightness for a high dynamic range is spectacular, it's held back by having only 576 local dimming zones, which is far fewer than its competitors, meaning you don't get the same level of micro contrast in dark scenes. The biggest issue for me is the staggering price especially since you have to buy the stand for another $1,000, and you're still locked to a basic 60 hertz refresh rate with no other input options. Next, we have the Asus ProArt PA32 UCGK. This display immediately feels more versatile for a creative who does more than just photo work, giving you a super smooth 120 hertz variable refresh rate and a mini LED panel with 1152 dimming zones for fantastic contrast. You do drop from the Apple Display's 6K down to 4K, so you will notice that 
text and U user interface elements on your Mac are not quite as razor sharp, but the trade-off for fluid motion in video editing, or even just scrolling, is massive. The Asus really feels like a better complete package for a Mac user, since it includes a proper stand and an external colorimeter in the box, and offers a ton of connectivity with DisplayPort and HDMI ports alongside Thunderbolt 3. Finally, we have the Dell UltraSharp UP3221Q. This monitor is the king of contrast, packing an insane 2048 mini LED dimming zones, which is the most of this bunch, and its killer feature is a built-in colorimeter, that makes keeping your colors professional grade accurate almost effortless. While its high dynamic range performance is still great, it does have a lower peak brightness of 1000 nits compared to the 1600 nits on the Apple and Asus displays, and it shares the same 60 hertz refresh rate as the Apple display. For a Mac user focused purely on color critical work like photography or design, this Dell is arguably the smartest choice, as its Thunderbolt 3 port provides a solid 90 watts of power for your MacBook Pro, and its practical, feature-packed design delivers professional results without the Apple tax. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video to be helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.